my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon emerald i'm purple rodri last time we caught the legendary pokemon kyogre and with that finally completed the magical triangle of the hoenn region in today's episode we're going after another legendary pokemon as you can see it's gonna be latius if you guys remember it was the one we saw on the tv we picked the red one here's the spot on the map where we're actually gonna have to look for him but i have a special technique that is actually gonna help us a lot and probably make things a little bit easier i think it's a really good strategy that i can of came up with and i think it's something that you guys can use as well basically in order to catch a roaming legendary which is what this pokemon is it's just one of those that run around all over the map run around all over the region and you really have no idea where it's gonna be you know what i usually do is i come to the area with the four different spots kind of like you can see on the map in mauville and then you go in and out in and out in and out of the you know town and the route and then eventually the Pokemon will be in the route that you want it to be. Now it usually takes a little bit of time, but it's a lot easier than having to run around all of Hoenn and having no idea where to find it. One more thing that I like to explain is you can't actually see Latias in the Pokedex until you've actually bumped into it randomly on any route. So I was just surfing around and I managed to bump into it, thankfully, and now I can actually track it on the map. Now with that guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and keep doing this. I'm going to run around. So once I've actually bumped into it, I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, guys. So I'm back here on the right side to Mauville City. It was actually on this side that I finally caught Latius in the map. So it can be pretty much anywhere. But it was in this area that I found it. So now, you know, right here in this little path to the right, there's a little enclosed area of water. So I'm going to run around, well, surf around a little bit until I've bumped into it. I'll be back in two seconds. So there we have it guys, with that I have finally bumped into Latius, and Latius is level 40. Now as you guys know, Latius is a very tough Pokemon to catch, it will run from you after probably one attack if you can even get an attack in, so I do have a strategy that I'm going to do for it. Now this might seem unconventional to some of you guys, but it's actually a strategy that I find least frustrating, so I am going to be using the Master Ball on this Pokemon. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon that I can use it on. But I honestly just don't feel like running around all of the region, tracking this Pokemon down. So with that, guys, there we have it. We have caught Latius. So it's pretty easy. You know, I'd recommend that you use your Master Ball always on roamers. Latius, the Eon Pokemon. Its height is 4 feet, weight is 88 pounds. They make a small herd of only several members. They rarely make contact with people or other Pokemon. They disappear if they sense enemies. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a nickname. Now, it's probably a dumb nickname, but it sounds cool. Maybe I'm just, like, going crazy in my mind. But I'm going to go ahead and name it, I guess, something that comes from its own name. I think it sounds kind of neat. And I'm going to call it Adia. So with that, Adia has been transferred to the PC. Now wait, you say, oh, well, you can only choose on the TV red or blue, Latias or Latios. But wait, there's actually a way that you can get the other legendary. Now, this is something that's not in the game anymore. It's something that you have to either use Action Replay or Game Shark nowadays because it used to be a special like Nintendo event where you would go and they would give you a certain item. We have gone ahead and gotten that item. I used, you know, some Action Replay Game Shark stuff because that's the only way to do it now. But I did it in order to show you guys uh, actually this little special event. So as you can see, I have the Eon ticket. It is a ticket that will allow you to do this event. The ticket for a ferry to a distant southern island. And we are here in Lily Cove because it's here in Lily Cove where we actually have to take the ferry that's going to lead us there. It's actually kind of cool. You know, it's one of those special events that I was talking about that not many people have the chance to see. So it'll be kind of cool to actually interact with you guys and show you this one. As you can see, we're taking a tiny trip to some faraway island and it's actually going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and board up then. I've never been here before. I'm guessing maybe a few of you have, but not everyone, so it's going to be a new adventure. We have arrived in the southern island, and wow, I'm kind of excited to explore a new area that I've never been to before. Now, this is an area that I've never even come to. I didn't even really know about it, so let's see where are we exactly are. Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. Wow, that's kind of a pretty deep saying for Pokemon. Let's make our way inside of this forest then and see if we bump into anything. We're in the southern island still, and this looks like a mysterious place. There's an egg up ahead. I think that's going to have something to do with Latios. So I'm going to save, and I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and saved. The mysterious egg is really eyeing me down. It's, it's telling me something. Let's check it out. Maybe something special will happen. 
with that, guys. Look who it is. Here we go, Rodri versus Latios. Let's go ahead and take on Latios then. It is level 50. This time around, I can't use the Master Ball, but the good thing is Latios is in a roamer. Latios is a stationary Pokemon, so he's just going to chill here on Southern Island, and it's basically just a normal battle. I know, who would have thought? You know, this actually reminds me of the first time I actually played through Hoenn. One of the first Pokemon, well, first Pokemon, well, after the post-game, I guess you could say, that I caught was Latios, and I just remember him having, like, some really strong moves. I added it to my team, not for the fact that, like, oh, it's some cool legendary dragon, Okay, yeah, that was the exact fact. I added it because it was some cool legendary looking dragon. I thought it looked like amazing. And I was just like, I really want to have this guy on my team. I remember by this time, my, my team was probably like 70 or 80. So I was like, dang it, I'm going to have to train this dude up. So I just went to the Elite Four and just did that a whole bunch until Latios caught up. I don't remember what I nicknamed it. Probably something goofy. I have no idea. If I remember, you know, I'll let you guys know. It's been a long time. Since I played my Ruby. I don't even think I have the right file on there. Not my first file. Since I've replayed it so many times. But I do remember having Latios on my team. And I always thought it was such a cool Pokemon. Especially since it always gave me like a very like intelligent vibe. Like a very serene vibe. You know. And with that guys. We have caught Latios. So it's not hard at all to catch them. I caught it in the yellow. Give it a few tries if you're doing it. With that, we've caught Latios, the Eon Pokemon. Its height is 6 feet. Its weight is 132 pounds. Even in hiding, it can detect the locations of others and sense their emotions since it has telepathy. Its intelligence allows it to understand human languages. I guess it can understand what we're telling it? That's kind of cool. And okay, if I name Latios Adia, what am I going uh, uh, to name Latios? Correct, Adio. So with that, we have gone ahead and caught Adio. And now, we've caught both Latios and Latios. All dreams are but another reality. Never forget. It's kind of a deep meaning. Are all dreams another reality? Is what we dream something that is truly happening elsewhere? Are we somehow connected to someone else who's living in another reality? Another us? You know, maybe, maybe just maybe what we're dreaming is what someone else is living when we're asleep. And what they dream is what we're living you know, when they're asleep. It's crazy, right? Kind of a mind fudge there for you. Very, very deep uh, Pokemon moment from Nintendo there. But with that, guys, we've caught the two legendaries. You know, it's pretty cool. It was a fun event. Next up, we're going to continue catching legendary Pokemon, doing some special events. If you guys have any suggestions or any tips or what legendary to catch next, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.